Hi, my name is Kiza from High Pines Training Consultancy and today I want to show you a live demonstration on NetSuite where the procurement to payment process flow. So let me go through the details. For procurement to payment, what we want to do is to go through the purchase requisition first where it will be done by the employee and then creating purchase order which will be done by the manager and after that billing and payment which will be done by the accounts payable department or the controller so now let's go into the next suite I already opened the suite and then now I am at the role of US uh, employee so when you are in the employee dashboard what you can see here is your tasks, your calendar, expenses report and your purchases so from here you can see key information that is required by your staff right now what we want to do is to create a requisition so to create a requisition you go down here and click enter requisition ok so once you click on requisition the requisition form will appear and then you can see it will be tagged by your department your class and then you can put class and location to for your manager to do extra slicing and dicing to make sure that, uh, the proper analysis so right now down here you want to buy an item request an item so let's find ipad you can type it out Okay, so uh, iPad here. So once I click iPad, the pop the information will be populated. The iPad, your location, the price, and then you can see here also your department. They can say like, I'm from the sales department. So for the sales department, so you can know like this is purchased by the sales department. And then you can see here there's also class and further information here. So right now. I want to add this. I already add. So now I add one item of uh, iPad or request. Right now, once I save, it will be a pending approval because it's pending the approval of the manager. So let me click on save. All right. So now the requisition is safe and it's pending approval by the manager so right now what I want to do is to change my role I want to go to my uh, manager role so let me change roles alright so now we change role what you can see now is the dashboard is different you can see now my reminders here now are for requisition to approve back order items I can have, I have my own key performance indicator for inventory or sales order navigation portlet so I can quickly go into my purchasing um, this destination or reports that I want to see quickly so what we want to do here actually is to go to the requisitions so we need to approve so you can see my reminder I have two so let me click into this requisition to approve and then you can see here by uh, Turgen. so you want to go in here 39 because our document number earlier was 39 all right so now we are entered the requisition you can see here is pending approval because we haven't been approved yet okay so let's go to edit And then once you add, once you click on edit, you can go in, and then here you can change to approve. So now we have approved this requisition. The rest is all a copy of your requisition. So you also can perform the edits uh, when necessary. So right now, what I want to do is to approve this requisition. So once we approve, and click save, then the requisition will be approved 
by the manager all right so once the confirm we can go to pending now is pending order we can go to the purchase order so for purchase order you just click on this button here and you will directly create a purchase order and you can see here okay this is the purchase order you want to create okay let's submit okay so right now actually down here if you have several requisition you can always uh create sub uh tick all the requisitions here but now we have one so we only have one here so now we have finally submitted our requisition let's click ok all right so after that we all want to do is to receive our order so where we, have, we can receive our order we can go here to our reminder click on orders to receive over here our vendor is the apple so we let's filter to apple because we bought an ipad mini earlier so once we filter to apple you can see here um, we have like the, our purchase order here number so let's click on receive because we are going to receive this purchase order of course depending on your workflow things uh, you can also uh, make people first before you make the purchase order receiver but for this we will use our receive first so once we come here you can see item received by apple and what we get is our ipad earlier so now you want to say like, okay we receive this it's already automatic tick tick but we can also receive more items if we have so now we only have one so we will save this as well one thing you can do also is to change the form form for earlier is also able to change like your purchase order and uh, requisition mm -hmm. so now here we will use the primary item receipt form alright so let's click on save And then we receive our purchase order. Uh, yeah, purchase order. Sorry. Right now, what we want to do is after receiving purchase order, we want to create a bill. So our purchase order earlier was um. All right. So let's go to change our roles. Our role now will be the US controller or your accounts payable. alright so now we change to our US controller and you can see now our dashboard is different again our key performance indicator now is for sales payable receivables uh, navigation portal that now shows financial statement payables inventory revenue fixed assets and also uh, closing period and setup and our financial ratios that you want to see and it's live So right now what we want to do is to build so we want to build our purchase order purchase order to build and then we will come to this page and then let's go to apple vendor again and then you see now it's filtered to all apple and what we want to do here is to click our PO earlier and then we submit and then once we click on submit we will come to this page in the build building page so the building page has our terms whether uh, our payment terms the vendor of course apple and then you can see which account are going from here it goes to accounts payable gl account reference number which is probably the reference number of the bill our posting period now is already approved so our status here is approved and then our bill uh, form so uh, for here we use uh, primary vendor bill if we have other like amortization on lender cost we can always change the form to um, 
in a way cater for those uh, requirements so right now you can see this is our from our subsidiary where US location is the west from internal department because it's for internal use and then we can put in a class where we want to do further analysis on this purchase so now let's go down you can see here we bought uh, per iPad for 439 so what we want to do here is to save to create the bill so once we save the bill will be created alright so after we create our bill then we want to make our payment so to make our payment let's go back to the dashboard real quick okay, click here our bills to pay and then we can choose our bill number alright so let's find our bill here and we go into our bill we can make our bill payment and over here we can make payment so before I make payment what I want to do is to show you the GL impact first you can see this is the GL impact now where it comes for account payable, you can see our inventory so over here you can have our GL impact where you can see how it get affects your accounts so right now let's make the payment And we go to our bill payment site where you can check use our uh, information here and of course you can see our form here that can be changed as mentioned earlier and then our classification for reporting and uh, analysis wise so over here we will take this bill and go back to the top we will save this bill here So once we save the bill, we have a confirmation and let's show you the GL impact again and you can see now the GL impact is uh, the your credit cash and debit our accounts payable and when we click in, we also can break down into our account payable register and from the register, let it load and then you can see here how our accounts payable register directly so this is all for our procurement to payment process flow so let's go back to our slide just to show you a review overview where we create our requisition go through the process flow approval and then we will create purchase order so the manager review and then he will receive once received the accounts department, the payable accounts payable department. Just now I used a controller, but the accounts payable department as well can be create the bill. Mm -hmm. And then depending whether there's a amortization, you can change the form. If not, then you use the primary form and then just process payment. Once you process payment, uh, you can always check the accounts payable register reports to check uh, over to have a view of it. So that's it for uh, my live demonstration for procurement to payment process flow.